what's led me to shoot my underwater work. Um, okay, so I have always been really drawn to the ocean. Um, I spent my childhood snorkeling, diving, doing whatever I can in the water. Um, and I've also obviously always really loved photography as well. I've worked as a wedding and portrait photographer for around maybe about 13 years now. Um, so it was a way for me to combine those two loves and it started off as a personal project for me. So um, I wanted to, to do something just for myself, just for my own creativity, yeah. um, to remind myself what I love about photography. Because I think a lot of people start um, as a photographer because no. it's a hobby to begin with. And so for me to make something that's just for me, that's just for a hobby, was what started me in, into doing the underwater stuff. Um, and it's kind of grown from there really. People started approaching me a few years ago uh, to buy prints of my work. So that's um, really brought my underwater photography into another um, arm of my business, I suppose. And I'm now signed with a picture agency. So um, they specialize in providing images for book covers. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Quite enjoying how it's going at the moment. an interesting question. Um, I guess it comes across as complex but it's like any form of photography when you do it a lot, when you practice it a lot it just becomes your normal kind of way of working. Um, the, the main difference is I suppose is using a housing for your camera gear. Um, so getting that set up is part of the, the approach um, and then light um, light behaves in a very different way underwater as well so you just kind of have to approach things ever so slightly different um, yeah I guess holding my breath is also quite quite part of the, the yeah. challenge as well so yeah there's, there's lots of different things that come together um, but yeah it's a it's a good challenge I enjoy it a lot Okay, so I, um, I made the switch to Sony this time last year, um, so I now shoot on a Sony a7 III um, and I also have an a7R uh, III, so they're my two cameras that I use. My housing that I use actually fits both of those, so it's really, really good that I have the option of using either camera depending on what I'm shooting. Um, if I know that I want to produce prints that are going to be the size of a billboard, then the A7R 3 is perfect for that. Uh, with all of my underwater work, I use a wide-angle lens. It's um, the Sony 28mm f2 lens, um, and within the housing, it's also got this sort of wide, wet angle um, adapter as well. So that makes it even more sort of wide-angle than that. Yeah. Now that's somebody. Uh, that's, that's something somebody asked me earlier on. Actually, um, it's a good question. I spend longer than I should, for sure. Um, largely in Lightroom, um, occasionally in Photoshop as well. Um, it's mainly tweaking colours. I wouldn't say I I work on the images too too much. Um, and I'd say that since switching to Sony, I don't have to do as much as I used to which is really nice uh, the main kind of like alterations I guess is if I get like a little air bubble in the nose then it looks like a giant bogey so that kind of thing I like to remove <laughs> or um, yeah just sort of small alterations really so. Well, the initial, the, the initial reason that I made the switch was that I was, um, I guess like some people, drawn to the, the smaller size for doing my wedding and portrait stuff. I, it really appealed to me, the idea of being able to have something that wasn't going to break my back. I was getting exhausted at weddings, carrying around all this DSLR stuff. Um, so that was one of the appeals. And it came, when I actually bought the Sonys, there were so many advantages that I didn't realise that I needed um, that came with it. So it's been really, yeah, really nice for that reason. I guess the main one is the incredible focus system. It's, it's really been a game changer for me. The, I no longer work in Lightroom where I zoom in on an image with my fingers crossed, hoping it to be in focus like I used to, because yeah. I know that they're always going to be pin sharp. 